where are we going to start? Well, this, I'm going to start with prophetic words that have been given in the last 30 days. Okay. Several different words given to a prophetic friend of mine. And I'm only going to be maybe hitting on 20, 25% because it would just take too much time. But I'm hitting some of the important highlights. The Lord says, my son, these words I give you, saith the Lord, the sounds of killing in Las Vegas is the sound that will be familiar to all in this nation. And since that was written, the killings in New York have taken yes. place. Yeah. And as I've said, when Satan is cast to the earth, this kind of event will be a common occurrence. The strange armies that will come upon this land will strip everything and all will be ravaged. This prophetic word that I'm reading right now is from a prophet that was given four coming judgments. John, the, the scariest thing is when, if you're alone and people would attack your house or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, that, that's scary. See, that, that's why we need to create the underground church. This... This prophetic, there's been more than one prophet that's been told four judgments are coming on America. That before we recover from one judgment, the other one will follow. Well, the judgment of hurricanes, it could take months for that judgment to be cleaned up. Yeah. And these prophetic people have been told the next judgment is earthquakes. And that will be followed by a tidal wave on the eastern seaboard. Oh, if that one is from the Canary Islands, that Aww. will just pray to God that one doesn't happen. Yeah. The fourth judgment is the invasion of America. Now, you know, David Wilkerson saw this also. He, he gave three warnings. He says there's a financial collapse coming. There is destruction coming, which I've often thought could be an EMP. And then he said, when we are weak, our enemies will invade us. So an invasion of America is coming. So when he says the strange armies that will come upon this land will strip everything and all will be ravaged, those who repent and bend the knee will be saved. Those of my remnant who are led by my spirit will be saved. And he says that during and after these judgments we read all the time. He says, and those who call upon me will be saved. Yes. That's scripture. Well, do you know what? So that say, being saved could mean saved in death. Yes. Because that's the ultimate of being saved, is that when we die, death has lost its sting, and we are ushered into the kingdom of God, yeah. never to experience pain again forever and ever. And I'll tell you, the older you get, Jim... Me, Lori, mm -hmm. the more you look forward to that body that will never grow old. Yes. <laughs> that body that doesn't need glasses. Yes. <laughs> that, that body that has get up and go. Because let me tell you, oh. my get up and go is on, only in first gear sometimes. I Second and third have been worn yeah. out. But they're warning about the sounds of war. It was that we're talk That's what the Bible speaks about. Mm -hmm. We're going to, rumors of war even. And that. The evil that has come upon the earth in, in, in ways that we can't imagine that these foul spirits will inhabit any person that has turned away from me. Uh, Rick Joyner has talked about the hordes of hell. Yes. Mm. I don't know if you've Here read his go. books, anybody here? Final Quest. Mm -hmm. Final Quest and all. This is what he says in his book, and this is what he describes. The hordes of hell are awful, John. Mm -hmm. they're, they're diabolical. And, and the hordes of hell are being unleashed onto the earth as Satan and his minions are cast to the earth. That's right. And that is the period that we are entering right now. But there's going to be the more events will be in events. And you sporting events, you said mm -hmm. even, there's going to be uh, terrible things happening. Yes. And... Uh, my son, the windows of heaven are open, ready to pour out mercy and grace, but no one will listen. No one listens to my prophets. Those that criticize my prophets will not be ready. My church believes the lies of the false prophets. 
There will be no prosperity, happiness, and the false happy days of the past. My church will, not, will know strength, humbleness, and prayer. Many millions will perish, but those who are my remnant will walk in power never seen before on this earth. This is referring to the church that will rise up and do exploits in these last days. Yes. God has a remnant. He is calling for others to humble themselves and pray and ask God for re to forgive them for getting off track in our life and to become part of the remnant. You and know, we are seeing 6.5 earthquakes every week. That's right. And the other day, three 7.0s and two megaquakes down in Mexico in September. Mm -hmm. I mean, the season of earthquakes truly has begun. But he says this big one, is, which is coming, I feel like he's talking about one coming next. Mm -hmm. But he said the, a very big one. He's gonna, he said, for my son, be ready to share the gospel after the next attack. The whole nation will be in fear. And uh, see, this is where I believe your audience is going to double. Mm -hmm. When the nation is in fear, they're going to be looking for answers. Yeah. And mm -hmm. nobody out there, except for your show, is really warning the church for what's coming. So let's go on to the next. So the next one, I, like I said, I'm only picking out little bits and pieces. We could be here for a couple more shows. <laughs> uh, my son, many voices will speak in the last days of peace, prosperity, longevity, and happiness, but they do not hear my voice. They hear the voice of a lying spirit. But in Jeremiah, when the king didn't want to listen to Jeremiah and he threw him in the sewer pit, he called in other prophets that were willing to tell the king what he wanted to hear. And, and, the, and the Lord says, I will allow lying spirits to speak through his prophets so that if you don't want to hear the truth, I will let you listen and believe a lie. And I'll tell you, this is where we are in America. The church doesn't want to hear about doom and gloom. Don't want to hear from the watchman on the wall. Don't want to hear that the end of happy days is past. Mm -hmm. No. Hey, I get excited that the Lord is coming. Yes. I, this is not my home. Right. I'm ready to move on. Yes. So then he goes on and says, my son, war is coming to this nation. This is the fourth judgment upon this nation. Mm -hmm. Many of my sons and daughters will die by the sword Many churches will be utterly destroyed. I tell you now what the fourth judgment is because now have all the plans been laid. The armies will come from the north and the east. That would be Russia and the Asian countries. Big cities will be a heap of rubble. I will have my remnant flee to safe zones. Their mighty revivals will happen. The body will wake up and move in power. I remember hearing from my friend that the Lord said, each of the four judgments, the church would go back to sleep until the fourth judgment, which would bring a total wake up of all those that will wake up. Going on, it says, it is during this time that my bride becomes the brightest light. See, this is when finally the church lets go of what this world has to offer and we grab onto what God has to offer. This is when I will come and gather her unto myself. My bride will be pure and without spot or wrinkle. You know, it's a shame that God has to bring us through the fire to purify us. But that's what's coming. The next one, this was from the 20th of October. Hear my cry, hear my prophets who warned you to prepare. They have heard my voice, and my prophets tremble, even though they only know in part. That's Beware the false prophets who say the world is going to experience good times and seasons. They do not hear me, for judgments are coming and are here. Millions upon millions will perish from all parts of the world. 
This judgment's not just coming to America. America, you will suffer great loss and will not recover. Have your house in order and be prepared to love your neighbor. Isn't that what I've been saying? Yes. That we need to be prepared to help our, not just our friends and family, but the least of these our brethren. That's right. For the strangers. And, I mean, read Matthew yeah. 25. Yeah. yeah. 